What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video, and uh, I'm bringing you a little uh, quick clip at the beginning of this video, little uh, tip if you did not know, if you're using George Roop in featherweight division, he actually has a flying uh, arm bar, which you can use, and it's pretty cool, and you can also switch it up to a triangle and hopefully get the submission but uh that's just the uh, quick clip now going into the uh main fight we got joseph benavidez going up against joseph benavidez and this is a mirror match i know some people don't really like that but you know what what can i do uh i actually chose this fighter off of a tweet that someone tweeted at me on twitter so uh, if you do want me to choose the uh, fighter that you want, instead of just doing it in the comments, if you actually tweet me, I will choose your fighter over anyone else's uh, based on whoever tweets it out first. But I'm actually the Joseph Benavides in the red shorts, um, and he is the one in the green. And... Uh, I'm going to talk kind of about Joseph Benavides as a fighter. He's pretty good. He actually has really, really good stats, which is one of his uh, benefits. The problem with him, though, is, in my opinion, is his height. He, when he's fighting like players like Dominic Cruz, he tend to miss a lot of your strikes, just don't land. Even like head kicks, they'll just like hit his armpit and stuff, and they won't land right. And... Also, his punches, too, his reach isn't very long. So he does kind of struggle in that aspect. Uh, the other thing that he is lacking is uh, power knees from side control, which is kind of strange because they mostly give most of like the uh, heavy wrestlers, they most of the time give them the uh, power knees. But he actually does not have it. But one thing I am doing in this fight on the ground and pound is... Uh, mixing up your timing with the uh, punches to the body and if you look back actually just a little bit when I was on the uh, full guard um, what I was doing is mixing up the timing I wasn't just going punch 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 I was kind of I, I once I postured up I sat there waited then threw a punch then kind of threw another punch and then like waited again through another one this works really well if your opponent's trying to do major transitions it doesn't always work that great when they're just doing block minors but a lot of players especially since playing in these player matches I've realized they uh, they're really not as uh, good I would say and so they go for a lot of uh, major transitions and you can really ground and pound them pretty easily but going into round two right about now the first round was kind of back and forth I think I did pretty much dominated him on the ground but as you can see this guy's going for a bunch of um, head kicks again this guy was not the best player but oh the other good strike he has uh, his strikes are all around really good especially his punches but he's got that quick um, the quick overhand right where you, you can uh, string together some combos. But again, it's really hard to land, especially that strike, because he's so short and seems like he has such small reach. But this guy is fun to use. I, I He has that front kick. He has, like, two other head kicks. He's got, you know, a nice left hook. But the front kick's really fun to use, especially if you got a guy who's, you know, trying to – it's a really good counter strike. But I believe this fight's coming to an end. It gets kind of glitchy with the kicks there. Uh, like, it goes over his head. Weird glitch. But I also do like his power double. It seems like he has kind of a special animation with his uh, takedowns. That seems a little bit different. But it's whatever. This guy, I'd highly recommend using him. But you will be going up against Dominic Cruz and Uriah Faber. So that's not always fun. But this fight's coming to an end. Hit him with the front kick. Right hand, body kick, mixing it up, looking for that sway strike, front kicks, comes in, hit him with the right, left, and then the overhand, left, sway, give him a couple more punches for good measure. That's the fight, guys. Some big news coming up. 
with my channel and also make sure to subscribe leave a like and follow me on twitch tv and twitter remember if you send me a uh, tweet on twitter about who you want me to use i will definitely choose your fighter over anyone else but until next time guys this has been mma game peace